Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will be discussing on conventional sources of energy. Okay, so the first conventional source of energy is fossil fuel. Okay, so we will be discussing all the conventional source of energy one by one. Okay. So, in ancient time students, wood was the most common source of heat energy. Wood was the most common source of energy. Heat energy you can say. Okay. The energy of the flowing water and flowing wind was also used for limited activities. So can you think of some of these cases? Okay. The exploitation of coal as a source of energy made the industrial revolution possible. Okay. So we were mainly depend, dependent on what? Coal. This was the conventional most conventional source of energy we had earlier okay so we exploit exploitation of coal as a source of energy as a source of energy made the industrial revolution possible made the industrial revolution possible okay increasing industrialization has led to a better quality of life all over the world so it has also caused the global demand for energy to grow at a tremendous rate okay and the growing demand of energy was largely met by fossil fuels so the main demand of the or the growing demand of energy by coal and petroleum which were the main fossil fuels okay at that time so our technology were also developed for using these energy sources only okay so but these fuels were formed over millions of years ago and they are limited reserves so as you know that it take million of years to uh, form petroleum okay so we can say that these fossil fuels are non renewable okay sources of energy so we need to conserve them basically okay and if we were to continue to consuming these sources at such alarming rates we would soon run out of energy okay so we should conserve these fossil fuels okay and burning of fossil fuels has other disadvantages too this causes air pollution burning of fossil fuel first cause air pollution the oxides of carbon sulfur nitrogen are released in the atmosphere are released on burning of fossil fuels on burning of fossil fuels okay and this led to acid rain 
I hope you all must be aware of acetylene how it comes. Okay, so these are the main disadvantages of using fossil fuel also. Okay, now the pollution caused by let me first student erase this. So the pollution caused by these burning of fossil fuels can be somewhat reduced by increasing the efficiency of combustion process and using various techniques to reduce the escape of harmful gases. So what were the harmful effects? We can reduce them by increasing the efficiency of combustion and other various techniques. Okay. So now this is what we have discussed about fossil fuels students. Okay. So in the next lecture I will discuss about thermal power plant and hydro power plant which are also conventional sources of energy. Okay. So stay tuned for the next lecture on thermal power plant and hydro power plant. Okay. And if you have still any doubt or any question based on this lecture then please do comment in the comment section students. I will be happy to help you guys there. Thank you. Happy learning.